What's going on? Uh, it's Nick, and I'm going to be reviewing It's a Wonderful Life. Um, this movie was directed and produced by Fink Caprera, uh, Caprera, I believe it said. But um, it's a great movie. Um, I watch it just about every year for Christmas, um, which it says it's, it's classified as a, a Christmas fantasy drama film. Um, but it came out in January, uh, which is a little interesting. So you can, it really shows you that it, it really turned into a Christmas movie. Um, but it is a 1946 uh, film um, starring uh, George Bailey, who is played by James Stewart, um, who does just a great job of just getting you really hooked and in-depth into this movie and uh, making you really feel what what's going on in his life, um, which is quite a bit because this movie's got a lot of, a, little, a, a, a lot going on. So um, this movie was uh, actually based on a story um, called The Greatest Gift, um, which is uh, um, a booklet that is uh, by Phil, it was by Philip Van uh, Dornstern, um, I believe it said, um, but it, it really goes hand in hand with um, it's a wonderful life, obviously, but it uh, it it shows you that life is is definitely um, more important than what you really think it to be, um, and it's really shown in in this Christmas movie, giving him a gift of uh, basically going um, not really back into time, but uh, but showing him a different kind of get a multi universe, I guess, of him not being actually ever alive. So, um, the movie actually starts off when he was a little kid, um, who is just running around having fun, and um, the first scene really, I believe, shows who this whole movie, or how he is this really whole movie, um, because he saves his brother from drowning in ice. Um, he lost his uh, hearing in his ear, um, but he, he saved his brother, which is, uh, what he really does is for the whole whole Bedford Falls um, area, the city that he that he stays in. Um, but he but that's like the short um, couple minutes of the uh, first beginning of the movie. Um, but I think that whole theme of him just giving uh, carries on throughout the entire movie. Um, because really his dream is to get out of there and and travel and, and do what he wants to do. However, he's just always just um, just knocked down and, and, and tries these and gets kind of beaten up in Bedford Falls by, by giving everybody, um, everything that they need by, um, like for example, like when everybody was trying to go to Potter's and, and who is, uh, trying to take over the city, um, get a monopoly on everything so we can just, um, be the richest out of all of them and really tax them whatever and, and really take over the whole city. He, um, uh, James Stewart, um, really tries to, uh, beat him, beat him, um, which is what everybody in the uh, city wants him to do or what are trying to do to him. So he, uh, so Potter actually tries to offer him, uh, money for his, uh, bank that he, that he works and owns, um. And it was enough money to for him to just go and, and do what he wants um, and, and travel. and uh, But he de he declines. He doesn't want to take it because um, he doesn't want to give him the potter. Um, doing another another deed for the, for everybody in the city. And um, and he actually gives his all of his money away, too, for his wedding, um, who he marries, uh, Mary. Um, who's played by uh, Donna Reed, um, which does an awesome job of, of uh, kind of getting really into character. And, and with them two together, um, I believe it's just so captivating watching them. It, um, it's a really, really awesome film to watch um, for the Christmas days with the family and everything. Um, but uh, back to the storyline, it, um, it was a Christmas uh, day. And he was just, um, he was just not having a good, uh, everything. He's not doing his dreams. He's, 
Um, he's down in the dumps. He has so much debt into Potter because of the um, because of the bank and because he doesn't want to give it up. Um, he he tries to kill himself and tries to jump off a bridge. Um, however, there is an angel that just uh, that's right there um, named Clarence, who is um, I believe is played by Harry Travis Travers. Um, and he gives him a gift of uh, having him not be born, which is another kind of uh, universe where he can, he sees everybody, he, um, but no one knows who he is, no one knows uh, his name. Um, and back when he was a kid and everything, everybody knew his name because everybody, everybody loved him. Um, but he gets taken into another place where no one knows him and he realizes that his life is definitely better than what he thinks it to be and what he can do um, and how he touched basically everybody in the city and everybody in the town of Bedford Falls and how he changed a little bit of part of their life to where it made his life even better. So um, after he goes through uh, this whole a journey with his angel he finally comes back to um, his house in Bedford Falls and um, and he's just beyond he doesn't care about the money that he has to owe he doesn't care about the house that he lives in he doesn't care about um, providing for his four children and his wife he just he's just happy to be alive and happy that he can spend that time with his family and and his wife so, and then in the end of the movie, he, uh, at the end of the movie, when he, he tries to show Potter up, all the people come together and uh, give him um, all the return money that he, he kind of gave them from his wedding day, um, which is a very good, which is awesome for, for him because he can pay back Potter and, and keep doing what he can do and touching everybody in uh, the town in a different way to where he can... Um, just give and, and be the best person he can be and everybody loves him. So um, it's a great movie. Uh, I watch it probably every uh, every Christmas or try to because it, um, it is just awesome for with the family and it's just such a good time. Um, but uh, definitely a uh, 10 out of 10 rating and um, I'll probably be watching it this year. Um, but it's just an awesome movie. So... Till next time, thank you.